Today, we're going to be talking about Hatchets for Survival. And no, it is not just a book. Okay, so the, the object of finding good survival tools or a potential one-tool option for survival has, I think, always been something that has intrigued survivalists and bushcrafters for quite some time. And while I don't necessarily think there's any perfect option, today we're going to be talking about the hatchet and why I think it is at least a pretty valuable option if you decide to go down this route. Now, in the past, I have talked about and will still retain the thought that if you were to choose or if you could only have one tool for survival, it would probably be a good, sturdy, heavy-headed uh, tomahawk and I think the reason why is because it has a lot of the pros that we're about to go over but with the additional pros that the handle can be removed and replaced and when you are able to remove the handle that allows you to use the the tomahawk in a little bit better fashion for close and detailed work as well as using it as a semi form of splitting wedge if necessary and in addition of course having the ability or the capacity to replace or repair a handle should it break or crack is a very nice thing and those two functions are simply uh, due to the way a hatchet is uh, hafted or hung on its head or on its handle, I should say, is just not a realistic capacity. Without any further ado, though, let's jump into hatchets and why I like them for survival. So, the primary thing that we have to keep in mind when it comes to survival is that there's about four key, or maybe five key aspects that you want to focus on with survival. Those being shelter, or those being fire, shelter, water, and food acquisition and of course signaling for rescue. The entire purpose for a survival situation is to hopefully get out alive. That's why we prepare and train. But what the hatchet allows you to do over something like a knife is it gives you a greater ability to build fires or to build shelters and to process wood for fire. Of course, a knife will be able to baton and that will give it some allowances, as I've mentioned in other videos, to give it some of the same abilities as a hatchet. But of course, a hatchet does not have to be batoned. And anytime you have to baton a knife, it's a considerable more, it's a considerably higher energy load or calorie expenditure, as opposed to just merely swinging a hatchet. So when we consider the necessary functions and uh, purposes of a or if we if we focus on the necessary uh, points or the needs of a survivalist or someone who is in a survival situation you'll see that the hatchet does a pretty good job of like i said being able to fell trees for shelter building or be able to process buck wood fell smaller trees and uh like i showed in this video uh knocking down uh high and dry dead uh, dead limbs off of things like spruce trees for tinder and this is a really good way of gathering uh, good solid hot and fast burning tinder for a for starting a fire and like i said a hatchet can do this with great ease in addition it can also get you your trees that you need to build a roughed out shelter in my opinion easier than something like a knife even a larger knife can't function at the same level as a hatchet and I have also videos detailing hatchets versus big knives and other tools and the hatchet does a pretty good job. Now of course an axe would be even better but the next part that makes a hatchet good for survival is the fact that it's reasonably small and in this video maybe it's not a very good uh, illustration but hopefully the rolling footage shows that this little Holtzbruch is only about a 16 inch handle and while obviously not as small as something like a neck knife or something like an Essie Azula this knife is or this hatchet is still reasonably easy to pack in and pack out. You're not going to notice the weight extremely, unless you're maybe an ultralight kind of guy. Uh, you're not really going to notice the weight, and like I said, it's not going to take up that much room in a backpack, and that is what I find really attractive about the hatchet, because a knife is 
still even easier to carry than an axe or a hatchet, but the hatchet is not that hard to carry. And I find myself uh, really being able to accommodate a hatchet quite frequently when I go out into the woods, kind of hence why I'm able to add a lot of roll-in footage with the hatchet is because I'm either able to throw it on a belt loop or throw it in a backpack and forget about it. And it's just there when I need it. And uh, it's just simply put a really easy tool to pack in. In addition to this, as I've mentioned in many other videos talking about uh, hatchets, the hatchet is also a great tool for natural resource acquisition. So if you are out and you do need to acquire things such as, you know, different funguses to eat uh, off of things like trees, off of things like trees, uh, you will be able to do that with reasonable ease, and the hatchet can actually extend your reach as opposed to having, once again, just a knife where, you know, your reach with that bladed or that, you know, with that bladed tool is maybe a few inches more than your natural reach. Uh, the hatchet here, especially like the 16 inch one, you know, extends your bladed reach up to a little more than a foot. So if you're already like myself, six foot, now you can reach seven feet up on a tree and still get and acquire things if you need them. That also does play a role into tinder and getting, you know, uh, resources for fire starting. So that is some of the advantages of the hatchet. Now, once again, it's not the smallest tool and a knife, even a larger knife, such as a Chris Reeve knife, Chris Reeve Knives Pacific will still come in at an overall length shorter than this uh, hatchet. However, like I said, it's a lot shorter than an axe. And honestly, the versatility and usefulness that you get out of a hatchet is still there. I don't think it's as good at feather sticking as something like a tomahawk or, of course, a knife. But as I've shown in this video, it can still be done with reasonable ease and you can you know, within reasonable ease, get, you know, enough feathers to start a fire. You can also baton hatchets, just like a knife, to get through in toothpick wood if you need to do that, and it'll still work for you well. The largest downside I see to a hatchet is that most hatchets are not very good at being strike, or being ferro rod or fire steel strikers. They're just not that great at it. Now, if you do find one that is, that's great, but things like this Holtzbruch uh, all mic here is, you know, aside from the sharpened edge, not the best uh, tool at striking a ferro rod, but that can be worked around. So lastly, the nice thing about a hatchet, being that it is more of a striking implement and less of a cutting implement, is the edge retention. In survival situations, you may or may not be able to properly sharpen your tools. And with hatchets, while a sharper edge is always better, and to an, ex to an extent, a sharper edge is safer because you're less likely to get a glancing blow with a sharp edge because it wants to bite instead of bounce, but yeah, in extreme situations, you can use hatchets, you know, as a striking implement to break and cut wood even after that edge is not at its prime. Whereas with knives, being that they are more of a cutting implement and less of a striking implement, it's very keen that you keep a sharp edge on your tool. So those are some of the pros and some of the cons of the hatchet for a survival situation. Would I carry this over a knife? Probably, especially if I had only one tool. In my opinion, I think one of the best survival setups, if I was allowed to pick anything I wanted, would probably be something like this uh, Holtzbruch All Mic and a Baco Laplander that allows me to efficiently process wood into small bite-sized bits and at the same time I can efficiently limb trees. Uh, I have a whole video of where I did you know just an overnighter without a shelter uh, process and that in, in that video the all the firewood everything came from me using the Holtzbruch all mic and in addition to that the Baco Laplander. So I know that that force or those two as a force can do or get a lot of work done. And so I would say that this is definitely a better survival tool than a knife, um, especially, like I said, if you could pair it with something like a small saw. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but those two together make a really good team. And yeah, 
that's uh, basically all I have to say about using a hatchet for a survival tool. I think it's great on its own, but it's really truly best and it shines when it has something like a small saw to be paired with it. And I do think that its performance, even alone, can certainly outperform a survival knife.